So today um, I want to install a um, wireless charger in my car, in my Lexus IS250, in the center console. So I ordered this wireless charger from AliExpress. This is a base house and it can charge up to 15 watt. I chose this one because uh, this has a size of, as you can see, 93 millimeter and the thickness is only 6.4 millimeter. And this one will fit perfectly inside my center console. Um, <coughs> I chose this one because most of the phones can uh, wirelessly charge up to 10 or 15 watts. Maybe some Xiaomi can do better, but right now is, is it pretty good. And for the next years, I think it will be also just pretty good. So this is the charger. Like you see, it's really thin, actually, I have to say. Uh, USB-C input, and there is a small and there is a small LED. Okay, uh, the USB-C cable also. What we're gonna need, a pry tool, plastic pry tools. And you're gonna need, uh, from these, um, I just bought four, just to make sure, but uh, you're gonna need two of them. These tapping things. You can uh, tap uh, the uh, two wires together with this guy and you don't have to soldier or anything so i will show you <coughs> what i mean in the car you're gonna need two of these and um, so and right now i will show you how to strip up uh, the center console actually you're gonna find other videos also on the internet how to do it but uh, uh, Maybe I'm not that specific, so you can look at other videos also. But, like I just said, some bright tool. The next one is two 8mm screws. And just lift up and forward. Uh, maybe you're gonna need to move the shifter. Uh, you and uh, Step up on the brake, push this lever down, this white lever down, and then you can go into natural or whatever position you want. And that's all. And there is your cigarette lighter. Also, a wire harness. Uh, there is here also by your harness for the small LED light what uh, you have inside in the center console box. So you can also just... So the next thing you have two bolts right here, two 10 mm bolts. And then we can go to the back. Then you have two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, 
unclip the two wire connectors and then you have also a small plastic, plastic clip here but on the other side is a little bit tricky on the other side um, you have to go normally go under and then unclip it but uh, we don't have the place for it so I will just cut the electrical tape and then we will see what can we do when I uh, reassemble everything. There are two other 10mm bolts. Uh, actually you will see four inside, underside of the navigation system. Uh, the two on the right and on the left is for the navigation. So not to its own, but what you have two in the center. And right now there are no bolts and nothing. Um, actually, what I saw uh, in the service manual, you have to just lift it up and and pull it gently backwards. There will be also uh, four clips at the front where the radio is. You have to just pull gently out of the way, backwards. Uh, and like I just said, uh, there are one pin and also another. So, and I'm a little bit disappointed because my plan was to install this uh, wireless charger um, on the bottom side of the center console, but I didn't know that here are, here is my airbag sensor assembly and I don't want to mess with it. I know that um, yeah, it has a magnetic field, not this one, but the, uh, the wireless charger has a magnetic field. Um, hopefully upwards only, but I don't want to mess with, with this one. And I am not sure also that I have enough space for this 6.4 millimeter between the center console and the assembly. So what I'm gonna do is we have the center console here and this is our wireless charger it will go down down there as you can see and it's a perfect fit and we will drill a hole inside this one on the back side actually here and right there this is our uh, audio AX and this is our 12 volt power outlet so i will drill a hole here for the usb-c cable so we just drilled a 11 millimeter hole because the head of the usb-c USB -C cable is uh, 11 millimeter
So, and right now we are here in a completely different environment um, because uh, at the first time uh, when I installed everything inside, um, I just made a, actually a mistake. I just <laughs> up and um, um, I wired up uh, the wireless charger uh, di directly to the car because I just thought um, that uh, it can handle the 12 volts be because on the package from the wireless charger it says it can handle uh, and actually also on the back side it can handle uh, up to 12 volt and 2 ampere so I just thought okay it's a car 12 volts it will be all right but actually not it's not the case because um, it's not exactly 12 volt what the car generates uh, but uh, it's always a little bit more from the from the alternator and so on so um, i just connected everything and uh, i just realized that the light doesn't turn on on the wireless charger i just realized that uh, this cable set what I made for the first time. It's actually also USB and also uh, um, also fuse over there. Um, that's one work and I have to purchase a cigarette lighter plug. I had already connected those two tap. We are gonna connecting this thing right now to the car and put a regular um, USB cigarette lighter charger inside and then we can connect our USB cable and on the end, the charger. The charger itself, um, I wrapped the charger because um, I thought it maybe looks a little bit better. Um, as you can see on the photo, what I just did, it's, um, um, I was at the Home Depot and I found a wrap like the car carpet inside the glove box. So I just wrapped it like this in maybe one minute and that's all. Okay, so these two wires are actually thick enough to just stick the tap on it and then it will stay on it also. And the red wire goes to the orange wire and the black one goes to the white black one. Just place inside the cigarette lighter cable into this wire tap and after that you have to have on your side the pry tool <coughs> and which one you can just squeeze all together. Give it a good shake. Just pull it sometimes because the connection might lose, but that's okay. And there is also like a plastic clap uh, for securing everything on. Then place the other cable inside like just the last one just squeeze everything all together so 
secure it with a plastic cap. Connect your USB cable. Just, just place inside whatever you like because there is enough space in there. Connect your USB charger and I don't have any phone or any watch or something like wireless right now here in the car but uh, there is a green light on the charger so if it's working then it will be light up and then we can just not fire in the car but just push, push the button oh yeah and it's working so it's actually functioning it's actually working and also I will just attach some photos, how it looks like uh, from inside the glove box, but we are done and thanks for the watching. If you have any comments or maybe I forgot something, then you can leave me a comment below.